Focus on not making stupid mistakes. Mm-hmm. Stupid mistakes in this type of competition can cost you a match. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. I'm in the big league now. Four naan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. What? Oh, my! Could it be? Oh it is! It's God's time! And they worked hard tonight. They had a hell of a match. It wasn't pretty sometimes. Wood club gold. Never understood this. I have no idea who's a legal man. Does it matter? I, I, you gotta use that count. You can't disqualify someone you know. TR has used this so effectively in the past. There's no reason that maneuver should not have got a win. Golden trigger, perhaps? No, Takeshita. What a counter by Takeshita. Why is everything going on? Because Kota Ibushi, the Golden Star. Young Bucks with an homage to the iconic. Freddie Mercury. But he's not here, right? No, unfortunately, Freddie Mercury passed away a number of years ago. I know. I'll say this for on pay-per-view. He's a miserable prick. Well, that's a perfect segue here to this next round because, Max, we're going to stick with you. Reflecting back on your own career, what's the most disgusting or stomach-churning experience that you've ever I've shot myself in the <laughs> There we go. Tell us the story. Care. Guy's name was Ace Romero. So what happened was, he was coming off the top rope, brother hit me with a splash, and like, I thought I took a big enough log before the match. Clearly I didn't finish the job. Luckily I was wearing black trunks, so nobody noticed, and it was a multi-man match. So uh, when he landed on me, immediately shit, shit myself. <laughs> and within that moment I was like, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna roll out. So I rolled out, you know, kind of stayed low for a little bit. Waited for my moment to strike. Still won the match with a full diver. Wow. <laughs> uh, which is more than most people would be able to say. That's why I'm a world champion. Yeah, yeah. Didn't happen by accident. Like one of those uh, haunted houses when it's dark and they have like just a black light, but it's not black. It's more like an orange, pink, peach light, but not black light. I was actually thinking it's like a horror movie, times, but but like, yeah. Where, where what are we looking at? Yeah, Jared is still just covered in. I guess that's blood. I, I don't know if it's uh, maybe like a motor oil. Motor oil. Yeah, I guess. motor. Oil. I'm gonna go with that. Maybe not a not hot lava, probably. Wow. Well, that was something. Let us never speak of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre again. You know, and these two signed on for the match. It took me back to the original iconic Wembley Stadium main event, the British Bulldog, and Brett the Hitman Hart, two fan favorites, but this one's changing rapidly. You were at that show, I believe, correct? I certainly was 31 years ago. It was the day I decided to be a professional wrestler, and I guarantee you, there's someone in attendance tonight who will have that same dream. That's awesome. I became a professional wrestler because I needed a job. You had one at LIRR. I digress. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
to the Nyla Rose, Nyla, Nyla, Nyla Beach, NATO, Nyla Rose, the Beast. We saw last week on AEW ba, Dynamite. Ba, bam! Ruby so ho, so ho, ho, Ruby so ho. I know you would love that. I knew you would love that. Ruby, 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 Ruby so ho, destination, no, whoa. Yeah, I digress. But if you think you are walking out Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, I promise you, you are going to have to take them from my home dead hand. I get blamed for this. You know what, Corbin? Maybe I haven't talked a lot, but maybe you just talk too damn much. You talk too much. Never shut up. I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. Okay, no, no, no. Hey, give the mic back. This is a bad idea. Hey. Holy shit. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh shit. Your former champion is the first title defense always the hardest. I don't know that I ever defended. Well, you were tagged. Well, that's true. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> for Selena Vegas, certainly momentum is on her side. Cole, you could make the argument. Does it mean it's like quite you could have lied about it or something? I would never lie, Cole. I'm <laughs> dripping in honesty. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story, Cole. right you're a dinosaur you've been around for 65 billion years in that time in that whole time have you ever had a skateboard up your ass 
Tozawa just knocked off the Miz. Miz. Finally shutting up the Miz. Miz is going to throw a gasket. He's he's arguing with Eddie Munster in there. and I, I can't believe the fact that Miz is going to throw a gasket. Dick Diggity Dog, NXT No Mercy is headed to Bakersfield, California on Saturday, September 30th. Dick Diggity, Dick Diggity Dog. Freaking it. I already don't like it. There is absolutely no way. Wait, Jimmy, how'd they make a mistake like this? Jimmy isn't even a real name. How did this happen? Bimmy and Jimmy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to beat me again, huh? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. How dare you talk to this man that way? How dare you talk to the big boss of ROH, the man that runs things around here, the way that your disrespectful mouth is talking to him. So I'm going to tell you what. You want some You want some smoke? You want to do this the right way? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. In fact, I'm going to give you a little time to prepare, too. So in two weeks, it's the boys versus myself, Stokely Hathaway tag team match. We're going to bust your ass. You brought this on yourself. Tell him, man. How does that help me? Matthew from Botchamania. Shout out to the Botchamania. Shout out to me for never being on Botchamania for anything that was my fault. In a way, that makes me the GOAT. There was that one hammer moment at Hell in a Cell, but you were... I... was not responsible. And, okay. Okay, yeah, uh, now I remember what you're talking about. I remember what you're talking about. You're talking about when I said impaled with the hammer. He almost impaled him! I'm playing a friggin' JRPG right now. I know the difference between a stabbing weapon and a mashing weapon. But the point I was trying to get across is the fact that that hammer was pointy. It was a pointy hammer! It wasn't a circle mallet. It wasn't a cartoon mallet. It was like a square. And if you stab somebody with the pointy part of a square, you're impaling them with it. In fact, you can bisect somebody with that. And none of that is relevant because I didn't come up with the line. Radio. It was in my ear saying, say he's impaling him with the hammer. Say it, say it, say it. It's not my fault. You son of a gun. My cat heard me screaming. And there's going to be one answer. It's E. Hey. Sports. It's in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Great material. We'll be right back. Sit perfectly still. Only I may complain. Repeat if you kill that man, you die next. Larry, we have been friends. And you respect my dad and I respect you, but I will put fucking bullets right through your heart. You put that fucking gun down now. God damn you, Joe. Don't make me do this. Larry, stop pointing that fucking gun at my dad! Congratulations, sir. You have just given me my real world's champion. Huh, great. Uh, what do I win? Nothing! Now get out! Uh, what? Get out! Everybody get out! You're spoiling me moments! <laughs> me Real world's title!
Jawabannya. Big Apple, 3AM. Hello, I'm Sergeant Crew, and I'm here to talk to you about Road Rage. Duh. Quiet, fat so the sergeant's talking. Go on, dear. In these modern, hectic days of fast food, answering machines, and one-night stands, people are getting angrier. Now, what you're about to see is not pretty. Cut me off, will ya? Learn to drive, dimwit! I sentence you to kiss my ass. Look familiar? It should. Anger is what makes America great. But you must find the proper outlet for your rage. Fire a weapon at your television screen. Pick a fight with someone weaker than you. Or write a threatening letter to a celebrity. So when you go out for a drive, remember to leave your murderous anger where it belongs. At home. Well, I've been lucky enough to start playing it. Don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. All right, well, guys. All he's got to do is okay. go buy my cheap bottle of Thunderbird. to do is create a powerful sense of dread this detestable i hate to even say it this detestable human being see so the longer the note the more dread ah mr matthews just the man i wanted to see perhaps you could tell me the meaning of this masterpiece tk loves cm now, what could that possibly stand for? Well, I think someone named TK apparently loves, um, 
Corn muffins? <laughs> Very subtle. I have done nothing wrong ever in my life. I know this. And I love I could tell you a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. Instead, I'll tell you to go to ButchManyShop.com and... Uh... <laughs>